Luna. Good girl. Good. This way, Luna. Good. Good. Sit. Good girl. Very good. Yes, good sit. Nope. Yes, very good. Hi. So um, today I want to begin by demonstrating how to walk Luna properly. So I've got a leash on her. And if you notice, I'm trying to make sure I constantly keep her on one side. Usually on my left side, because if you go out for a walk, you'll be facing oncoming traffic. So you want her on the left side and then you between her and then the, the traffic. So um, you always want to make sure the leash is loose. You don't want her to be pulling ahead in front of you or you don't want to be dragging her from behind you. At the same time, you don't want her to be beside you only because you are pulling her to stay there. You want the leash to be loose so that she continues to learn to walk by you. Um, at her own will. So when you are walking, make sure it's loose. Yes, good girl. So you notice I have a loose leash. I'm not pulling or anything. Good girl. So that she understands this relationship herself. Now I can stop her here. Nope. And that's the reason why I'm not holding the leash completely at the end. I'm holding it somewhere where it's easy for me to stop her when I want her to sit on the side like she just did. Yes, good girl. Right, so this is one good way to continue to um, assert your leadership and then teach her to control her impulse more and more. So as you can see, she's sitting and she's calm. As energetic and as giddy as this dog is, you know, this is allowing her to just be calm because I stopped her over here. So if she tried to move forward, the um, resistance will keep her exactly where I want her to be. So she understands that because we've been doing this for a while. So instead of trying to fight it and all that, she just simply opts to relax, as you can see. So uh, basically, you want to just keep her on your left side. And whenever you come to a stop, you want to make sure that you stop her on your side. You don't want to stop and then she walks in front of you and then circles you or anything. You want to make sure you stop her on her side. So instead of holding the leash completely at the end like this, you want to at least shorten it to a point. Where your hand is, when your hand is free like this and relax, you can still have looseness. You don't want tension in the leash when you're walking here. So pretty much that's it. Now, corrections happen when she looks away. So when she looks away, you get her back, not by pulling her back, but by nudging the collar to remind her to give her attention back to you. Then she herself walks back to her spot. You stop her there. So now she's looking at me like, what's up? What's up? Luna, look at me. Sit. Yes, good. Very good sit. No. Nope. Yes, good. Good sit. There you go. Very good. So as you notice, when she tried to get up, I said no as I stopped her with a leash. And then she came back into her sit position. So walking your dog is a very good exercise because it gives you this opportunity for communication. And this communication happens with her collar and leash. So all these times when you correct her and you stop her and everything, it's like you're helping her understand things better and better. So... I always recommend you do walks at least twice a week. So um, now that I've demonstrated that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leash off because my leash is a bit heavy. So I don't want her to be stressed out during our structure training. I'm going to take it off and then I'll just run her through the routines that she has learned. And then I'll demonstrate how far we've come. We've come as far as the stay command, teaching her to sit down and stay. Not only when I'm beside her, but even when I walk away from her. So I'll do that. Ah, ah. So when she gets up without me instructing her to come back, I do a full circle, bring her back to the same spot, stop her in the same spot. And then if she sits, yes, good sit. I continue my conversation. If she breaks free and you allow that, then it's like you're allowing her to feel like she can be leading you. But you want her to understand that, no, she should always follow your leadership. So that's why I will go full circle. Full circle because instead of trying to turn her around over here, I want her to get used to being on my side when she's walking, when the leash is on her. So full circle enforces that behavior. But turning her around is almost as if I'm teaching her a new behavior. I'm teaching her that when the leash is on her, she, be, she should be spinning around. And you don't want to do that. So, for example, if she were to break free, instead of trying to pull her back and turn her with all this resistance happening and the confusion, all I do is I simply walk with her. Full circle. Good girl. Come here. Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. Good girl, come here. Good girl. Stop her here. Good, sit. And we're back to where we started from. Very simple and sweet. Yes, very good. Hello, Malaika. How are you? Are you sure you're fine? Okay, how was school? That's good. 
See you later, okay? All right, bye bye. Hello, Povi, how are you? Have you moved to Malaika School now? Oh, that's nice. So, is today your first day? So, how do you like your new school? You like it? Awesome. See you later. Bye. This way. Yes, very good. So, as you can see, I was having my conversation and then Luna still stayed calm like a good girl. Right? So, these walks and these exercises on the leash help to enforce that behavior more and more and more. So, I encourage you doing the walks as often as you can. So, I'm going to take the leash off now. Give her a little more freedom. The reason I'm doing this is because when I'm working on things like the stay command, I, I just don't want the leash to get in the way. Right? And what's going to help me now to manage her and control her movement is the treats that I have on me. So I have treats in the form of chopped up chicken sausage, as you can see. So with this, I can pretty much keep her around me. Come. Very good. So she's, she's not going to really go anywhere. She's going to stay around me. If she gets distracted or anything, she's not going to go too far off. So once I have her around me, I'm good. So I just want to take us through the routines that we've learned. Usually with everything we learn, I like to do a face-to-face -face sit. Yes, very good sit. And then a side-by-side. -side. Free. Good. Sit. Yes, very good sit. That's a side-by-side. -side. And free. Good. Very good girl. So we'll be practicing everything in face to face and side by side. So now, when you're giving your dog your treats, you always want to make sure that you at least get her where you want her to be. That's where luring comes in. So I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but always remember it's important to lure your dog. So sometimes you can make it a playful thing. Come, you know, just use it to move her around, to get used to being able to control her movement, get her into a side by side sit. Yes, good sit. Very good. Very good. Free. Good girl. Come here. Good. Sit. Yes. And get her into a face-to-face. -face. Very good. Sit. You can even use it to get her to spin. Spin. No, this way. Yes. Very good. And you give her a treat for that. You could get her to spin the other way. Yes. And then you give her a treat for that. So just keep doing that so that she gets used to following the direction of your hand. So your hand becomes a powerful tool to control her movement. As you can see, she's sitting attentively and she's giving me her attention. So the more you have these exercises with her, the more you build this kind of relationship. And then you gradually get to a point where when you don't even have treats and you call her and she comes to you, she gives you this kind of attention. And then you guys can communicate. Yes, very good. So constant practice just means you are building the behavior more and more. When dogs do things continuously, it becomes second nature to them. So it's all practice, practice, practice. Yes, very good. So now she does well with her sit command pretty much. And um, as I've said earlier, whenever you call your dog and you ask them to sit, you take the treat away. Sit. Yes. And then you go and you give it to them. Good. Sit. You don't call, come sit. And then you keep the treats here and then give here. When you do this, they only ever learn to focus on the treats. But when you take the treat away, sit. And it's towards your face. Now they are focusing on you. And then you go down. Yes. And you give them the treat. Very good. Free. Ah, there you go, free. Very good. So the free command, super important. Never forget it. So I'm going to remind you again about the markers. Anything you ask your dog to do and it does, you have to mark it with yes immediately. Come, sit. Yes, very good. Immediately mark it. And I even like to sometimes mark just a simple come. Come, yes, very good. So that I get used to the habit of marking because marking is something as simple as a yes is since you haven't been doing it You're not used to it. It's easy to forget to say it So every opportunity you get to mark you mark so that it becomes a habit of your own And then also at the same time so that your dog learns to understand it better and better Come. Yes, very good sit. Yes, good sit very good sit very good sit so that she begins to assign behavior to the markers so that it's easy to transition to the point where you don't need treats. At that point, when she hears yes, yes, then it feels like a treat. Very good. Free. Yes, very good. I'm even marking the free. So every opportunity you have to mark, you mark. But then when it comes to structure, like sit, lie down, come, don't compromise. Make sure you mark. Come. Yes, very good. Sit. Yes, good sit. Very good sit. Come. Yes. Sit. Yes. Good. Sit. Very good. Sit. Very good. Sit. Free. 
Very good. Now we're going to do this on the side as well. All right, come here. Free. Good. Turn her around in a U-turn. Sit. Lift the treat above her head this time. This time, not to my face, just above her head. So she goes into a sit easily. And I free her. Free. Yes, very good. Good. So we'll practice with a down command as well. The whole of today's session, this is the first time I'm going to ask her to go down. So she might hesitate a little. But it will be like her refresher. Ah, she offered it because she was expecting it. Sit. Yes. Good sit. Good sit. Down. Yes. Very good. Someone remembers her stuff. So now you don't need to bend down to ask her to go down. Just stand up and do it. All right. Free. Yes. Very good. There you go. Very good. Sit. Yes. Good sit. Every time I ask her to sit from a down, I hold a treat above her head. Because when she's lying down like that and she's comfortable, you need to encourage it. So I deliberately hold a treat above her head when I say sit. Sit. Yes. Very good. Sit. So it serves as like a reminder for her. Good. And then I just stand up and point down when I say down. Down. Good girl. Ah, ah. So when you lose your dog's attention, you just want to gain it back. Taking her around, bringing her back. Sit. Yes. Very good. When you have the attention. Down. Yes. Good. Down. Sit. Yes. Good. Sit. Down. Yes, good down. Very good. I rewarded the second time and not the first because the first, she actually went down before I asked her to. I want her to get used to only following instructions and not necessarily thinking that she knows what to do without me asking. Free. Very good. All right. So the same thing on the side. Free. This way. Good. Sit. Yes, good. Sit. Down. So on the side, I'm going to remind her by, first of all, guiding her down. Yes, very good down. Yes, ah, ah, I want to enforce the behavior. So when she's down, I'll reward again while she's down. Come back. Sit, good, down. Yes, good, down. Very good. Down. Yes, good, down. Very good. Yes, good, down. Very good. And free. <laughs> Good. Good. So this time, I'll try without guiding. Sit. Good. Sit. Yes. Very good. Very good. Down. Yes. Good. Down. Very good. Yes. For staying down. Good. Down. Very good. And free. Good girl. Very good. And one last time. Free. This way. Good. This way. Sit. Good. Sit. Down. Yes. Good. Down. Very good. Yes. For staying down. Good. Down. Very good. And free. Good. Very good. Good. So now that we've done face to face, side by side, we're going to work on the stay command now. So obviously, she remembers her down as well. Now, um, something that I want you to be mindful of is when you're doing the side by side, what you usually want to do is you want to take your dog backward behind you and then do a U-turn into your, where, your position and then raise the treat above her head, sit, and then she goes into a sit and you bring it back and you reward her. And from the side, you can point down. When she goes down, yes, you go down and you reward her. And when she stays down, yes, you reward her for staying down. And then when you wanted to do a sit, you, ah, when she heard it, she sat herself. Yes, good sit, good girl. And then you free her free in front of you. So when you free her, you are moving your hand in front so she can get up and then be free. So what I wanted to point out was usually take your hand far back enough so she has enough space for you to do the U-turn in, inward, right? Not outward. Outward would look like this. You're doing it outward like that. No, you don't want to do it outward. So remember, you always want to do it inward. So come. Inward, close to you. Yes. Sit. Yes. Very good. Sit. Good. Down. Yes. Yes. Very good. Down. And no, I want you to stay down. Yes. Good girl. And free. Good. Very good. Okay. So next thing is the stay. So with a stay, I'm going to bring her closer to the camera. Come here. And then sit. Good sit. Very good sit. And because the down position is a more comfortable position, I prefer to teach the stay in the down position more. 
but sometimes just to help it differentiate i'll do it in the sit position as well so let's do sit first sit yes good sit and then i'm gonna walk away now if i walk away and she gets up i'll say no but if she stays put i'll be quiet when i come back i'll say yes and then reward very good good sit so she obviously remembers from our last session so she's not making a mistake yet and i'm impressed yes very good sit so i'll free her free yes because when your dog gets it right then you want to not only reward her with a treat but also reward her by freeing her right this is the first time we are doing the stage during the session and usually i would expect that she would make a mistake because it's something that we started to learn recently but for getting it right you know i didn't want to stretch it just wanted to keep it short and then reward her by freeing her and then we'll try again a second time come here good sit yes good sit walk away from her this time let me go all the way to the end here she still stayed no so when she does that you say no and even if she moves two steps you bring her back two steps come back to the same spot this way sit yes good sit and then you walk away again without giving her a treat when she breaks free no you take her back to the same spot come here come here good sit yes good sit and then you walk away again and when she stays this time yes you mark it with yes you walk back to her yes and then you good sit very good and then you free her free very good so when she makes a mistake and you correct her after she gets it right you want to free her immediately you don't want to stretch it because it was a mistake and you want her to register that she did the correct thing after the correction so we're gonna try again come good girl this way sit yes good sit i'm gonna walk away from her all the way to the end she stayed put like a good girl because the mistake that we corrected registered yes very good good sit no i don't want you to lie down sit yes good sit very good you want to just make sure that she can differentiate so if you ask her to sit and she lies down don't tolerate it no you move so come back come back come here you don't want her to move as well sit yes good sit even though she gets the idea you don't want to encourage any sort of movement so even two steps you want to correct that yes good very good good sit no sit yes good sit now i always want to encourage ah uh -uh. yes very good so she's corrected herself at the same spot so i'll reward her sit yes good sit good sit good sit okay very good so obviously she understood that correction because she stayed put yes good sit very good so i'll free her now free good good girl so now we're gonna do it one last time i want to get it finessed and then we'll um do it in the down position as well so this last time what i'm gonna do is after I ask her to sit i will come all the way to the end the first time come and reward do it a second time come and reward and then a third time okay because today is in as much as it's a demonstration it's also a training session because we are not at the end we are still in week four we still have two more weeks to go so i need to use today to teach so this last time the goal is to be able to go and come back three times without a mistake so every time she makes a mistake, I'll start again. So this might take a while, right? But it's also going to be insightful. So let's try it. Come. Good girl. Very good. Good. Now notice every time I ask her to sit, before I step away, I say good sit. Because I want to enforce the behavior. I don't want to tell her stay. Because when I tell her stay, I'm adding new vocabulary and confusing her. So the idea is when you ask someone to sit, you don't need to tell them again, stay. They should just simply sit now especially if it's your child you don't want them to do anything without asking permission so if you teach them that when you sit obviously you're supposed to stay put until i ask you something else it makes it easy for them to look at you as someone that they need to ask permission usually if they want to do something so same applies here so i just say sit and when she sits yes good sits and then i walk away very good if i turn and she's still sitting yes i mark it and when i get to her again yes good sit good sit and i walk away yes very good yes 
good sit and I walk away and she's still there yes very good and this time I'll free her free good someone did excellent someone did excellent this was really impressive so we should move on to the next thing but I, I want to do it just one more time because I want her to really really let it stick so we'll do one more time sit yes good sit and I walk away yes good all right mark come to her yes good sit and i walk away yes come back to her yes and reward good sit and i walk away yes good girl no yes good girl and i reward good sit very good and then now i free her free good girl very good girl very good girl now when i came back the third time her going down i don't really consider that a mistake right what i consider a mistake is her moving right because the idea is you want her to stay over there if you ask your dog to stay in a sit and they are tired they are allowed to lie down because if they are tired why shouldn't they be comfortable right so i don't consider that a mistake i just made her sit again because i just want to reinforce the differentiation that one is just a mental exercise i want her to understand that sit is sit and down is down right but as you see, she did extremely well. Come here, Luna. Come. Good girl, Luna. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Good girl. Come here. There you go. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Good girl. Now, in this short space of time, she has gained so much fulfillment that her giddiness and everything has essentially faded. Her tail is even wagging like in a much calmer uh, manner and everything right because whenever they feel fulfilled then they don't feel an impulse to do much they, they are already fulfilled so they are, they are more relaxed so exercises like this also feed that you know when they are doing things they need to think and then when they get it right they get rewarded and all that for five ten minutes they get a very good sense of fulfillment so you'll have a generally well-behaved dog outside of the space you realize that when she goes into her kennel she'll be more quiet than the days when you don't give her this so more practice the better so now i'll do it in a down position sit good down yes good down very good i just want to reward for now because we haven't done down in a while free very good good and then i'll do it again this time i'll not reward i'll just mark it and then i'll go and come before i reward sit yes good sit down yes good down so same thing with it down before I walk away, I will say good down to enforce the behavior, which this line is down. Yes. No. Yes. Very good down. Now with the down, right? The tricky part is, yes, good down. When you walk away, you're coming back. When you get close to her, because she's used to receiving the treat when you're coming in a sit position, she has this urge to sit up. Aha, like that. No. So you don't want to encourage that. Yes. Very good. You want to let her understand that in the down position, good down. She waits for the treat lying down as well. So when you get there and she says, or, and she sits up, you stop. Yes, no, yes, very good, good down. And free, very good, good girl. So when you get to her and she gets up, you stop immediately, right? And if she goes down, then you come and you give her the, the treat. Free, very good. So we're going to try it again. All right, come. Luna, good girl. Come here. Sit. Yes, good sit. Good sit, Luna. Very good sit. Down. Ignore the fly. Good girl. Down. Yes, good down. And I walk away. Yes. So when I turn, I see her and down, I mark it. And when I come, ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Yes. Good down. Good down, Luna. So before I walk away, I make sure I say good down. When I get here and I turn and she's still down. Yes, that's a marker. Then I walk up to her. When I get there and she's still down. Yes. Then I mark it. And before I walk away, good down. And then I walk away. When I get here, I turn, see her. Yes. Good girl. Walk to her. She's still down. Yes. No. As soon as she does a mistake, you say no, you step back. If she does the right thing, yes. 
and then you mark. This time, because I was talking, I delayed to say yes when she corrected herself. But as soon as she corrects herself, you say yes. Good down. Good down. Very good. Walk away. Yes. Yes. Good down. Look how long she stayed down. Yes. Yes. Good down. I've gone like four or five times now and she's still down. Yes. Yes. Good down. Yes. Yes. Good down. Now, another thing you should be mindful of. Yes. When I get to her, I say yes before I take the treat out. Yes. And then I take the treat out. Good down. I don't take the treat out and give it to her whilst I say the yes. I say the yes before the treat comes out. So she should hear the yes without seeing a treat. Yes. Good down. So this is the last time. The next time I'm going to free her. Yes. So she can't see the treat. She can't see the treat. Yes. Now she sees it. Good down. But when I free her, she sees the treat. Free. Yes. Very good. Very good. And whenever I free, I always free to the side. Very good. So now um, she's pretty much covered everything she needs to cover. It's just that last part, the staying part, especially in the sits and stuff that we work on for the differentiation and stuff like that. So our next two weeks is just to tighten these things and make them stronger and stuff and see if I can add some bonus things. I've been trying to get her to do a handshake sit. Yes. Good. Hello. Hello. Yes, very good. So we'll work on that a bit more as well so she can do a handshake. Hello. Yes, very good, girl. There you go. Very good. Very good. Free. <laughs> very good. Very good. And you can practice spinning with her. Spin. Yes, good. Very good. Come. Spin. Yes, very good. Very good. Come. Good. Spin. Yes, very good. Very good. Sit. Yes. Hello. Yes. Very good. Very good, girl. Very good. Good. Free. Yes. Good, girl. This way. Come. Good. Sit. Yes. Good. Good. Sit. Down. Yes. Good. Down. Very good. Very good. Sit. Yes. Good. Sit. Good. Sit. Down. Yes. Good. Down. Good down. Free. Yes. Good girl. Sit. Yes. Good sit. Good girl. Down. Yes. Good down. Very good. Good girl. Good down. And guess who's staying? Luna. The good brilliant little Maltese. Yes. Very good. Good down. Don't move. Good girl. Guess who's staying? Luna. Y nope. Yes. Good. Very good. Look who's thinking and getting stuff right. Very good. Free. Yes. Sit. Yes. Good. Sit. Hello. Yes. Give me that paw. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Very good. Let's do it sideways so we can capture that properly. Sit. Yes. Good. Sit. Hello. Yes, good girl, Luna. Very good girl, Luna. Free, Luna. There you go. Very good. Good girl. Good. Thank you for watching.